Show 2010. This is Mick Diaz, team with Mick Buckets from Pro Tools and Logic. New for the show, we have the 6030 Ultimate Compressor right here on the screen. It takes your, takes your lunchbox style module design and a touch of the button, you can have a bunch of different compressors all in one plugin. And as you go from each module, it keeps the same settings as you go from one to the other, so you can really audition what different compressors sound like at the touch of a button. It's awesome, it's cool, it's McDSP, available in May of 2010. We've also upgraded some of our long-standing products like Compressor Bank, Ooh. and Filter Bank. Ooh. We've upgraded the user interfaces to make them look as sound, but look as good as they sound. Look at this. But in addition to these new interfaces, we're still offering the legacy versions as well. And if I haven't mentioned this already, we're supporting audio units. That means if you use Logic or that Motu stuff or that Ableton Live stuff, you can use our plugins too. Hot dang! Okay, so that was 1630 Ultimate Compressor, new stuff for Classic Pack, audio unit support, everything will be available in May of 2010. I'm Colin McDowell, and I like this haircut. See you later. Oh, we're on again. Oh, hi, well, this is Colin McDowell. We're going to get a little serious and all technical about the 6030 Ultimate Compressor. Okay, to start with, you can push one of these buttons and you get a variety of different compressors. Well, that's interesting, but what's really happening under the hood? Well, just like a module, when you push this button, you see a new interface appear here. But actually, under the hood, a different algorithm is being popped in to the rest of the system. So I have like a Fairchild 670 thing. I have an ICOM. I have a frog compressor. I have a 1176, kind of. But with each one of these models, a customer might think, yeah, I'm familiar with this. I know what it sounds like. I already have one of these. No, hold on. Every one of these models you see here, we've taken the knowledge that we've already had for over a decade about how these compressors sound, and we've tweaked them out. Maybe it's more sensitive in the mid-range. Maybe it doesn't pump as much when the low-end stuff comes in. Doing things that we think the customer will appreciate as we see how they use those types of compressors in the field. So, you might think you know what it is, but it's not. It's something that's sort of tweaked, tricked out, and mcdsp peified Ooh, is that a word? Anyway, that's what the 6030 compressor is all about. Can I say it's available in May? Well, it's available in May 2010. I'm Colin McDowell, and I still like my haircut.